Hello, Centerville United Methodist Church. This is Will Montgomery, lead pastor, coming to you on this Tuesday, September 8th, with not just a few announcements, but quite a few announcements. Uh, one is that this week is uh, Grace Ministries on Friday and Saturday, in addition to our food distribution that goes on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So we have several op openings, and if you'd like to participate and by volunteering, we encourage you to go to the church website or contact Phil Moore here in the office, and he'll get you signed up for that. Uh, we've been dependent on a lot of youth uh, participating this summer. Now that they're back in school, we have more openings. And so if you've got some time available to do food distribution, we encourage you to contact Phil uh, soon. I want to also let you know that this Sunday afternoon uh, from 3 to 5, we'll be having a blessing of the devices. Uh, Pastor Marty and Joy Ranhell, our children's music ministry director, uh, will be on hand to bless the children and to bless the the Chromebooks and devices, our laptops that are being used. And so we encourage you to come by, not just for the blessing and to see one another, but also uh, to receive a, a special gift from Joy Ranhell. Again, that takes place this Sunday at three to five. It's a drive-by event. Uh, we encourage the, especially the young children uh, and families to come by. Teachers, you're certainly welcome to come by to receive that blessing uh, as well. Uh, our youth will be meeting tonight, uh, not tonight, this Sunday night from 6.15 to 7.30. Jeremy Vest, our youth director, will be sending out to our youth and parents a link uh, tomorrow. Uh, we encourage, uh, in the season that we're in, for pre-registration. So please register in advance uh, if you're coming to the youth event this Sunday at 6.15. This will take place at the pavilion. It's the time of uh, activities and group discussion. Again, it's this Sunday at 6.15 outside at the pavilion. A couple updates in regards to Holy Communion. Uh, we are sharing our eight o'clock service, communion service uh, that we've been doing for the past uh, several weeks now. Uh, but it'll be more than just communion this week. It'll be what we were accustomed at to having at the eight o'clock service, minus the singing, minus the music. And so uh, I just wanted you to be aware of that. So if you've been coming and standing, you might wanna bring your chair this time. Uh, for this event. Again, it'll be communion, uh, communion service, but also the sermon and prayers as we gather. And that we'll be doing this outdoors until we're able to move indoors. And I'll let you know when that'll take place, hopefully sometime in October. But for now, if it is a Sunday morning and there's inclement weather, just know that we won't be having the service outside and we won't be having the service at all. Uh, also, Thursdays, we were doing communion services, but we won't be doing that uh, anymore because the, it's starting to get dark uh, now, and also because we're doing virtual communion beginning this Sunday. It doesn't mean that we're going to stop gathering for Holy Communion. So if we're having communion services virtually on a Sunday morning, the first Sunday of the month, uh, then perhaps on the third Sunday or fourth Sunday, we can gather on a Sunday afternoon for a time of fellowship and a time of sharing in Holy Communion. Uh, I'll be sending out more information about that because there is still a longing uh, to get together at, for sharing of Holy Communion. And I, I get that. I want to honor that. Uh, but also, it's interesting, several months ago when we had to start virtual worship, the number one question I received was, why are we not able to have Holy Communion? Other churches are sharing in Holy Communion and, and people would send me wonderful emails about how their friends or family members were doing that in other places. And I had to say our bishop was uh, not allowing us to be able to, to do that uh, in the Virginia Interconference. Uh, but the bishop and the cabinet decided, because it's been such a prolonged experience now, and there's still this longing for Holy Communion, to allow during the season of the pandemic for us to be able to share in virtual communion as we're sharing in virtual worship experiences. And so instead of waiting till the first Sunday in October, uh, we'll be sharing Holy Communion this Sunday. Uh, September 13th at the 915 and the 1115 service. Uh, we will have the communion liturgy. We'll have the great Thanksgiving. There'll be the kind of the call and response that we're accustomed to sharing, the music uh, version as well. And so it's interesting. The first question months ago would be, why are we not having communion? And now the question might be, how are we going to do this? Why are we doing this now? And so I just have to trust that as we gather uh, virtually this Sunday for worship, uh, that the Holy Spirit will be present. The Holy Spirit will be present as I, 
uh, as I uh, stand at the table and consecrate the elements, I trust that the Holy Spirit that is at work in the sanctuary and uh, over the, the bread and the, and the cup will be also ever present uh, where we are gathered uh, far and wide uh, to share in this meal. So I encourage you to, to do this though with some intentionality. Uh, I encourage maybe getting the children involved. Let it, the children set the table uh, or get nice glassware wear, or whatever it might be, whatever suits you uh, in your household. It, it might be uh, setting a doily, lighting a candle, uh, bringing out uh, a nice glass, a nice plate in which to set uh, ta uh, the table. You can use a uh, Hawaiian, King's Hawaiian roll. Uh, you could use uh, oyster crackers, Ritz crackers, uh, a, a piece of bread. Uh, off of a loaf of bread. I wouldn't encourage you to bring the whole loaf out, but just uh, uh, sometimes cubing that up ahead of time. Uh, so to do that with some intentionality in preparing the table in your home. Also, uh, you can use a grape juice. I can't tell you not to use wine. If that's what you want to have and use, uh, then, then do so. Uh, I just encourage you uh, to go easy on the volume when it comes to, to that, uh, because again, we're doing this with intentionality uh, and with great purpose. And so I, I would imagine if we approach the Sunday and say, you know what, I, I just don't get it. I don't think I'm going to like this. Well, if you don't, if you go into something and you're not going to like it, then you're not going to like it. Uh, but I encourage you to have a spirit of openness uh, and being able to be open to see how the Holy Spirit will be at work. Uh, because even when we gather in person, uh, we have to understand that this is a, a mystery, how Christ is made known uh, in the breaking of this bread as we share together. And I also recognize when we gather for in person, there'll be people who like, they don't prefer Hawaiian loaf. They prefer to kneel and to have the, the individual cups. And so, you know, sometimes we just have to say, this is how we're sharing. This is how we're serving it today. And, and I'm going to come in with the right spirit uh, to be able to share in that. And so I just I invite you uh, to enter that, to prepare your hearts, to prepare your minds, to prepare the table uh, to be able to share in Holy Communion. In addition to how you might want to prepare your table there, we can help you do that. Uh, we have the communion cups that we've been using, the prepackaged cups of the, of the wafer and the juice. And if you would prefer that, uh, because that's what we'll be using here in addition to uh, symbolically the, the, the Hawaiian loaf that will be broken. Uh, if you would like that, we've, we've placed some in uh, bags and uh, there are two in each bag. And so you can get as many bags as you need for your household or if you uh, want to get a couple bags and say, hey, I've got, I'm good now for September through December. Uh, that's fine as well. But uh, the church office is open from nine to four each day. If you'd like to get that to help you in preparing the table, uh, certainly able to do that. Again, we'll celebrate communion this Sunday virtually uh, at 1115. We were used to sharing communion every single Sunday. Uh, we won't, we don't anticipate doing that. Uh, we'll share virtually this Sunday. Uh, and then again in October. And then when once we're able to return in person, uh, we'll be able to reserve, resume weekly communion. I wanted you to be aware of that, to pre prepare your hearts, to be able to prepare the table in advance of sharing in communion this Sunday. Take care and God bless you.